going on YouTube, Horse Racing Gamer. We are indeed back. Gallop Racer action here. And we're going to get right into it. Gallop Racer 2000. This year is game was pretty crazy. Your friend got to win the last race, so let's go ahead and see what we can do with him again. I'm going to go up in class. That was an open that we did well. Grade 2 might be a big jump. But you know what? Let's go ahead and get myself a test. Top 3 go to the Azalea Cup. That's huge. Price here is 5400 How we do top three go to azalea um this is nine furlongs on the turf if i'm not mistaken seven to nine not bad we have a chance we know it's actually like, kind of really bad really have a chance well once you get positions away from the baby So here we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode. Um, it's been fun. It's been fun being able to play this game. Let's go. Ready? enough. I think we still place though. But man, stamina definitely got us. But I thought we uh, were doing pretty decent. I mean, our pacing wasn't too bad, but we got a little too fast for crazy, so um, we're going to wait a couple weeks. I could buy another horse. Depending. Um, we still got three year olds on both sides. Wagner's bets. Sunny Friday, she's going to have a And then Crazy Nights, Round Moon. Not trying to spend all my money on one horse. Of course, with like a crazy rating. Maybe. Um, crazy Nights, 6 9 for a long. Spurt is mediocre. Guts does not have any count, so that horse is not going to fight. Uh, to a Celtic Creek. Half and half. Decent guts. And I'm buying him. Likes to be a front runner. Yeah. Front runner with bad stamina. That does not work well with me at all. Of course, likes to be a front runner. Front runners seem to prefer for their stamina to be high. Because being a front runner, you gotta set the pace in one way or another. This horse has really good stamina, though. Speed is not that great. This is a Philly off the tap. Let's go ahead and uh, get her. And we may go ahead and buy another car eventually, but I'm not too impressed by it. Off the tap. 9 to 12 on the turf. Preference. Let's see what we can find. Fresh green. Top 3 going with Azalea, so we have yet another chance to advance to the cup. she does depending how well we do for winning or placing some more races I'm going to buy, buy. Yellow triangle was there, partly because 
have thought about that twice before I made that purchase. It's just not my strong suit. Not unless the horse is like super stacked. As far as stats and attributes go, if the horse is not stacked, I cannot, I just, I'm not good at front running. Never have, never will be probably. For the most part, like I said, unless you got a crazy horse. There's a couple horses in here I remember from back in the day, like Kramer's King, Fast Navy, that are ridiculous. They have like infinite stamina, they can run after five for days, so. Awful tap. I don't believe you can sell the horses, can you? Her spurt's not for a while, so. Maybe something we'll just have to adjust to. Patty's wrong, she's alright to go. Um, came ninth last time, I forgot the distance. Her stamina isn't great, I probably need to try a 6 or 7 furlong race. Here's a grade 3, uh, probably not a good idea, but it's a 7 furlong, so we may have a chance here. Let's go to race day. I don't know, I don't think she's a grade 3 horse yet, I don't think she can compete with this class, but we'll see. 125. Shorter race, maybe stamina will help us here and we'll be able to outlast the competition, which that's usually all you need to do is a long shot. Some horses compete against each other running for that. expected and keep it pushing keep it pushing could have been better but like I said I figured she wasn't ready for that clash I just wanted to test it out to see if the distance out that did not <laughs> at all still 14th jockey position wise crazy friend will be ready here very soon go ahead and get it back on the turf Grade two here, New Zealand. Top three go to the Young Mile Cup. Seven furlongs is just underneath the distance. Uh, I, have, I have faith in Crazy Friend. Crazy Friend, excuse me. We can go ahead and give him a shot here. First week in May. Let's see what he can do. And it's race day. Let's see. Grade two. I felt. I can't remember if we did. Great. 39. Not ready for the clash. It'll be hard to take a chance or a shot. I'm well aware of probably, I mean, I'm well aware of what my horses can do, but it's always worth the shot just to see. Ready? I don't have any great two horses.
last race. We, we would have probably won that. But, you know. None of my horses are grade two ready. I don't even think grade three is worth challenging yet. yet. Not this year, at least. I'll give them a, probably a solid year, maybe eight months. And we start blowing, you know, open races out of the water and winning left and right, left and right, and then we'll bump it up. So that's what I need to do first. Make sure we can dominate that class. Anybody ready to roll yet? Patty's rum is ready to go again. She has not, not she placed once. All right. Six to ten furlongs on the turf, if I'm not mistaken. Sweet pea. Top two go to the Golden Oaks. This is a big open class race. And then off the tap. On the turf, not at all furlongs. Grade three, I don't think we're ready for it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Top two go to the Golden Derby. So we got a couple of entry races here. That can get us to a Derby. Gross. Race day, let's hit it. Probably will be the last two. Patty's wrong. Nah, it's still not great, but at least we're not the long, long shot, so we can go for it. Let's go. I'm not sure what Patty's Rum is going to be able to do. Um, she still has a year, though. She still has a year until she gets her. Really gets her uh, Ready? Still got room for improvement with Patty. I'm not worried at all. We can stay if we can be in a position where we're beating half of the field. Then I think that's a good sign, and we'll eventually get better from there. So, last race of the day coming up here very shortly. And let's go. I think we're racing with Awful Tap now. That's what we're 18 to one. On their feet dancing, man. It's a thing in this game. Usually, not always the case, but usually. Still got to figure out exactly which race is. Ready. Oh, Go! She's a front runner, but I'm not gonna burn her. Stand.
top two would have went to, I think, more than more to the Golden Derby, but fourth place, that's not bad at all, considering our odds. So, even though she's a front runner, that seemed to work for us. We're definitely waiting to whip. The whip. Whipping in this game really drains the horses crazy. Like, really, really bad. Other games, is more so balanced. But if you use it here, there's no limit, but it, it drains that stamina a lot faster, so. Not bad, though. Fourth place for Awful Tab. We can work with that going forward. And as far as where she likes to run, I guess we have to compensate for that. Yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. Remember, smash the like button, of course. Subscribe if you are new. Share this video with family, friends, whoever. Appreciate the support on the series. And we'll be back with some more Gallup Racer 2000 action here. And that'll do it. Of course, we're the Gamer Sounds. Next time, we'll be all great. Fantastic day. See you.